So these are unprecedented times. There's a lot of fear and confusion uh, surrounding COVID-19 circumstances. Uh, in clinics, um, all uh, elective procedures have been uh, on hold. Only necessary and important surgeries are being conducted. Uh, only one family member is allowed with each patient. There are some um, exceptions, though, uh, especially for patients that are near death. Um, you know, they're taking all types of precautions to prevent nosocomical transmission, which is the hospital-based transmission. And so we have screening stations set up at every entrance. Uh, everyone uh, has to wear PPE, maintain social distancing, wash their hands, sanitize their hands, and maintain the protocols and all the precautionary measures to prevent transmission to, you know, of patients, their family members, the community, our colleagues, and ourselves. Um, and, you know, the research labs and the laboratories were closed due to the lockdown. And so there has been some delays in, term, in terms of uh, what the research could do to improve treatments in clinics. So there has been a delay and uh, the impedance has definitely caused a lot of confusion in the scientific community and patients depend on our uh, novel therapies. And so we have to, you know, sort of come up with an idea to overcome the delays that we've made. Um, the leadership here at the medical center is actually using evidence-based strategies to bring back the workforce in a way that we can uh, jumpstart uh, our laboratories and um, you know, the operations that we had, uh, be it clinical operations or, uh, you know, scientific operations in order for us to advance in our work uh, by uh, by keeping ourselves safe at the same time. So there's hope we'll get past this. Um, so then we can all come back and uh, we can all come back in our mission to fight cancer.